What's up guys, it's me your boy Steve Random here and it is here. The summer list of 2018 is here. I know I've took a while on this one. There's a bunch of other videos out. Some of you guys are excited for this one, some of you guys aren't because you guys have probably seen a bunch that have already been done. But anyways, you know, it's kind of a tradition where everyone has just has to post his own kind of summer fragrance list. And this is my summer fragrance list. There's a few here that are bangers and there's a few here that are like good for summer and pretty much that's it. So I'll tell you guys which ones are which. Let's get into it. Um, as you can tell behind me, there's these lights. They're not on because they don't make a difference whether they're on or off um, because of the light that I have here. So it doesn't make it look nice. But when, once you guys get into the video, um, you guys will see that I'll show the fragrance close up. And that's when I took these lights on. And that's when I took that, um, you know, video of the close up. But it looks nice. And so my number 10, my number 10 is Versace Man of Reich. This one is one of those that is good for summer and that's it. In my opinion, I've started using it maybe in the last uh, two weeks. It's done well. I liked it um, when it's got hot. It's been doing well. It's, it's been performing well. And overall, it's, it's a good fragrance. I just don't really find it attractive any other time than summer. If it's not summer, I don't really use it that much. It's kind of just like a on the shelf and just stays there or sometimes in my drawer. And basically, Versace Man of Fresh has kind of a tropical kind of vibe. Uh, more on the citrusy and you know tropical oceana kind of thing so it suits well for summer and you know the summer fragrances stuff but it's not that good in my opinion just an overall why did i put it as number 10 is because it works for summer it, it fits in for summer but it's not a banger of a fragrance now you know i have to speak truth i can't just come out here and lie to you guys and say every fragrance on this list is a top 10 masterpiece i can't do that i'm gonna have to speak honestly and that's what i'm trying to do trying to speak more honesty and not just say that these are bangers and all of these are bangers I'm trying to mix it up a little so number nine is mont blanc legend intense every time i go to the gym i usually spray one spray of this just because it is it smells good and refreshing but at the same time, I don't wanna, you know, stand out in the gym. I'm just working out, trying to enjoy myself, and that's it. So Mont Blanc, I'd spray one spray, just kind of like this, like that, and I'll be out. This is overall a very nice pineapple-y, um, musky sort of fresh, but not. It's not really heavy musk. It's like just a little good smelling, like kind of like a man smell, and. It's a pineapple. It's not Creed Aventus pineapple. It's just regular pineapple, refreshing pineapple, more of a tropical kind of pineapple. Overall, it's a very good fragrance. It just doesn't last as long as you want it to. So hence why it's my number nine. It's a good summer fragrance overall. I do recommend it. It's very cheap. Mont Blanc Legend Intense. My number eight, this is Jean Pocatier Superman. kind of smells like if there was a dryer sheet things that you put in the dryer that make it smell more fresh you know a little bit more like clean this is what it smells like overall I don't get much of a sweet vibe because the notes over here are very sweet they're like vanilla I think lavender and stuff like that which are pretty floral and sweet overall though I just get a clean side a more fresh and clean side this one though does last a long time. I don't know what you guys were saying when you guys said it doesn't last at all. Like, come on. Like this thing for me lasts about eight to 10 hours at least. Um, and as, a, as I said, it's lasting to the next day sometimes, you know. But yeah, Superman, I am starting to love this fragrance more and more. And this is the starting banger of this list. I'll tell you guys which other ones are bangers, but this one is one that is a banger. That's my number eight. My number seven, I don't have to really go into this as much, and that makes it more easy for me because you guys know all this fragrance, and I just have to include it because it works for summer. I can't, you know, put it aside and say, 
this one doesn't work or I just don't like this one. It's, I can't do that because I like it. It works for summer. It gets girls. It lasts a long time. It's pretty much almost perfect. And this is Creed Aventus. So my number six is this one, which I haven't seen much talk about because it's one of those releases that was like hyped up and wasn't as expected as the hype, you know, it wasn't, it didn't, what was that thing that I keep thinking about? It was like, it didn't live up for the hype, is what I'm trying to say. So Dior Sauvage Eau de Parfum is my number six. Overall, I do really like this fragrance. I don't, it's kind of downgrading in my list right now. As you can see, it's my number six. It's not that high up, but uh, if I did this list maybe two months ago, then it might have been my top three, uh, maybe. It was a little bit too hyped in my opinion. And I think because of all the hype that was on it, it didn't make it look like a good fragrance because it was so hyped. And then it turned out to be almost the same Savage. But if it wasn't that hype, people would, you know, look at it a different way and say that, wow, this smells kind of a little different and it's not even getting any attention. What's going on? Um, you know? But Dior Savage or the Parfum is pretty much like Savage, but with a little bit of added vanilla, a little bit of added nut nutmeg, which is, it just makes it smell a little bit more sweet. Um, just that classic sweet. And that's pretty much it. That's your Savage EDP. My number five position, my number five is one that should be a number one in many other lists, or actually it is a number one in many other lists. But to me, I'm not really more, I'm not, you know, finding to get attracted. This kind of sounds like I'm talking about a girl, but I'm not really finding this one wearable anymore. Like I know, and it was, it smells really good though. Um, don't get me wrong. And I do keep on trying to wear it, but sometimes, I just go for the other fragrance that I have and not this one and I maybe need to start using it more to get more out of it but so far it's been I would say good at the most. This is Aqua Amara by Bulgari. Has a, has a tangerine, a mandarin kind of thing, you know, orange, uh, it's like an orangey rosy kind of smell it's it, some people describe it as a dirty orange don't know what that means but I, I liked it and I think I'm gonna stick with that so it's a dirty orange kind of thing it smells so unique that if you want to stand out it's a great fragrance this one is kind of like a love or hate in my opinion so that's Aqua Mara by Bulgari number four this is a banger of a fragrance but there's other bangers of fragrances coming up which makes this my number four, Aqua Di Gio Perfumo. <sighs> I love the smell. I truly do love the smell. And others haven't found it that attractive and some have found it like it's for their favorite one. And I think it's very attractive, especially females find it attractive. But I think it's more for the mature crowd, you know? Me, I, I can wear it on myself, but it just doesn't attract uh, or at least for me, it hasn't been attracting girls that are my age. It's been attracting more girls like older. Sometimes I wear it to a, um, a little like party where there are there's some parents in there. It's not really like one of those you know, parties that you're like you're just there and there there are sometimes there's parents over there, and the parents find it more attracting than the girls in the party do. My number five, or no, my number four. Sorry, sorry, my number four. My number three is one that is is um is a banger it's a banger of a fragrance it's a great fragrance and overall i really recommend this one this one can work any time of year but i do recommend getting a sample though because there is one ingredient in this one that is very very prominent and if you don't like this ingredient you're not gonna like the fragrance this is chanel allure Homme sport o extreme a long name but if you smell it and if you're familiar with the notes you can smell a heavy dose of tonka bean it's a very heavy dose of tonka bean and i know a few people that don't like tonka bean and that don't like this fragrance because it's tonka bean it's a tonka bean master but it smells really nice though it's very very nice yeah i mean i can i can smell this all day i can i can finish a video off doing this 
the whole time. It smells really nice. It's like orangey, tonka beany, very overall great. <laughs> I'm running out of adjectives to use, but it's overall a very, very good fragrance. The most fragrance I do recommend out of this list, I would say this one. Even though it's my number three, it's a bronze medal, but it's still a very, very good fragrance. Chanel Allure Almost Sport of Extreme is my number three. My number two, my number two is a banger of a fragrance and some of you guys has, have been telling me, is this worth getting or does, does it live up for its hype that it's got in the past? And I say yes. This is Creed Green Irish Tweed. You know I struggle with that name, but Creed Grenache Tweed is a banger of a fragrance. And just like Aventus, you guys know the deal with this one. It smells like Cool Water by Davidoff. Davidoff Cool Water it smells just like it, but it's a more refined version of Davidoff. And just like Aventus, you know, and just like Creed in general, they just do, and you feel it like when you smell the fragrance, you do feel like it's a tiny bit richer than other fragrance, uh, the, than other fragrance brands. Same thing, when I smell this one, I, I have um, cool water with me and I smell it, I smell both of them like this. I'm like, man, there's just something that I feel in Creed. And I, sometimes I even blindfold myself when I smell them. I mean, I can't really do that while I'm holding the bottle, so I get my sister or somebody to spray it for me. But I just, there's something in Creed that's just very rich and I do really, really like this fragrance. It's a banger of a fragrance and I do really recommend it. Creed Green Irish Tweed. That's all, or no, sorry. This is my number two. My number one's hiding behind my light, which I couldn't see. This is my number two. So my number one is really a really, of a, it's a really banger of a fragrance if it's my number one and it overtakes this, this beast. My number one, my number one. Let me just make an explanation on this one. Let me grab it first, okay. You know, when I'm looking for fragrances, I want something that can last long, can get girls, can make me feel more confident, can smell unique, and number five, a decent price. That's my five things I look for when I get a fragrance. Now, I would say this one is not a very unique smell, but nonetheless, man, it does last long. It gets me girls. I mean, I'm not like trying to sound like a douchebag, but it gets attention from girls. And some of you guys want that. Some of you guys want to get attention. I, I, I don't, I also do want to get attention. And I don't, you know, don't hesitate when I put this fragrance on. I put it on and I know I'm too confident to where I'm like, I'm gonna get some ladies tonight. You just get that feeling sometimes. This one is one of them. This is Invictus by Paco Rabanne. Just Invictus, the regular version, no aqua, no intense, no nothing. Just Invictus, regular version. I, I, <laughs> I, I can't say anything about it, you know, I like, if I if I was going to explain this one to you guys and explain some of the stories I have, it would just be a 35 in a long video. So let me just tone it down a little bit and tell you guys that Invictus is my number one. Give it a try, give it a sample. You know, you can find it anywhere really. It's not really that rare. You can find it in your Dillard's, you can find it in your Macy's. Just give it a try, sample it out and tell me what, what you think. Because what I just explained there before I showed the fragrance, it's what this fragrance is. And that's it. It's a very sweetie. And actually, think about it. When I just now said sweetie, one of, uh, one of the girls did comment and tell me, you smell very sweetie. <sighs> Nothing else to say. Invictus by Paco Rabanne is my number one for my summer list. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Peace.